Hey Amen. God bless everybody to, uh, that's here today in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you happy to be here to worship and to praise him? Amen. Amen. Always when you walk in those doors, you should feel the joy of the Lord within your heart. Let's all stand in reverence of the Lord, and we're going to open up our Bibles to 1 Timothy 4.10. That's what the Bible study is going to be about today, 1 Timothy 4.10. When you're there, say amen. If you need a Bible, just raise your hand. She, uh, I, I need. Uh, can somebody grab her a Bible really quick? Uh, I forget your name. Lucinena. Lucinena. Amen. And Jorge, her husband. Amen. Let's give them a hand of uh, clap out uh, for Amen. They're 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 from the neighborhood and they're new to the house of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. First Timothy. 410. Lynn, can you help her find it, please? 410. You got it? Amen. I'm going to start reading it. It says, therefore, I'll read the, uh, the N NLT verse. This is why we work hard and continue to struggle for our hope is in the living God, who is the Savior of all people and part particularly of all believers. Let's read the uh, K KJV. Therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is our Savior of all men, especially for those of those that believe. Amen? Amen. Amen. We do this because we, we want to, our flesh wants to listen to the out, out there, but we need to listen to the voice of the Lord. That's what the voice we need to hear is the voice of the Lord. Amen. He will guide us. He will lead us. He will direct us in the right ways. The worldly ways will lead us in the wrong, destructive ways, but God's ways are the ways we need to go by. Amen. Listen to his voice. Keep quiet. Zip and lock it. Put it in your pocket and and listen to god's voice amen? amen amen heavenly father we just want to come before you father god this morning we thank you father god for waking us up this morning with the breath of life everybody in the house of god say <sighs> that's the breath of the lord that's what's in you amen we thank you father god we praise you we glorify you for being the god that we serve father god we ask that you bless this day bless the rest of the week that we have for throughout this week we thank you for the one that you brought us through it might have been a struggle but we're here today amen and we thank you father god we give you all honor and glory and praise in jesus name amen praise the lord amen hallelujah we're gonna sing that song yeah yeah go yeah yeah go we're gonna a little bit of Spanish. Amen? Hallelujah. Ya llegó, ya llegó, el Espíritu Santo. Ya llegó, ya llegó, ya llegó, el Espíritu Santo. Ya llegó, ya llegó, ya llegó, el Espíritu Santo. Ya llegó, ya llegó, ya llegó. El Espíritu Santo ya llegó Y déjalo que se mueva Y déjalo que se mueva Y déjalo que se mueva Esto es tu corazón Y déjalo que se mueva Y déjalo que se mueva Y déjalo que se mueva Esto es tu corazón Como da yo Cae esto sobre mí, como le hallo. Cae esto sobre mí, como le hallo. Cae esto sobre mí, como le hallo. Cae esto sobre mí, que quema, que quema, quema. 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 
que queima, que queima, queima como un Yo caí en todo en mí como un Que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, Cayendo sol en mí, como un rayo. Cayendo sol en mí, como un rayo. Cayendo sol en mí, como un rayo. Cayendo sol en mí, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema, que quema. Que quema, que quema, quema, 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 que quema, que quema, quema. Woo! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to bring it down a little. Just invite the presence of the Lord into the house, Amen. Get ready, prepare your heart for the Word of God, Amen. We want to slow it down a little bit. Uh, uh, Amen. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes and meditate on the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Thank you. Que no estaré tu presencia. Y poderte contemplar Necesito estar contigo Necesito adorar Quiero estar Quiero estar en tu presencia Y poderte contemplar Necesito estar contigo Necesito adorar Dámele Necesito 
está contigo. Necesito adorar. Quiero estar. Quiero estar en tu presencia. Y poder. Y poderte contemplar necesito estar contigo necesito adorar dame de dame de bebé this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it's your, it's your season this morning. Amen. Tell your neighbor, poke at your neighbor and say, it's your season. Amen. Praise God. Let's sing that song. Amen. It's your season. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise, and you stood the test. The windows of heaven pouring out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise. And you stood the test The windows of heaven Pouring out a blessing It's your season To be blessed I'm blessed in the city And I'm blessed in the field I'm blessed going out And I'm blessed going in the windows of heaven pouring out a blessing it's your season to be blessed it's your season to be blessed god made you a promise and you stood the test hi the windows of heaven Pouring out a blessing, it's your season to be blessed. I've been through the fire, and I've been through the flood. But I'm standing here, why? Because of his blood. The windows of heaven, pouring out a blessing. 
It's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise and you stood the test. The windows of heaven pouring out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. Come on, say that again. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise and you stood the test. The windows of heaven pouring out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. I'm blessed in a city, and I'm blessed in a field. I'm blessed going in, and I'm blessed going out. <laughs> the windows of heaven pouring out a blessing. It's your season to be. Let's say that again. I'm blessed in a city. And I'm blessed in a field. I'm blessed going out. And I'm blessed coming in. Uh, he's going to open the windows. And pour you out a blessing. It's your season. To be blessed. Come on. It's your season. Tell your neighbor. To be blessed. It's your season. Built peace to the promise, and you stood the test. The windows of heaven pouring out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season. To be blessed. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's good. He's good. Turn around and tell your neighbor, God is good. Hallelujah. Be sure and, and tell the, uh, everybody that's on your side. You know, Pastor Madeline, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but Yo es bueno. Yo es bueno. Jesus. God is good. God is good. Amen. Is that how you say it? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will learn one day. Amen. Hallelujah. Alabra Cristo. Palabra Cristo. Woo! Come on. Palabra Cristo. Para alabar a Cristo Necesito una poca que de gracias Una poca que de gracias Para arriba, mi La arriba, de arriba La arriba, de arriba Por ese, de, por ese, de, por ese Aleluya Aleluya Aleluya, oh, aleluya. Aleluya, amén. El nombre es marinero, el nombre es marinero, el capitán, el capitán, el capitán. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Amen. El no es parinero. El no es parinero. Es capitán. El capitán. El capitán. Aleluya, 
Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Amen. Para la alabar a Cristo. Para la alabar a Cristo. Eres sí una poca que gracia. Una poca que gracia para arriba a ti. Y arriba, y arriba. Y arriba, y arriba. Por ese de por ese. Aleluya, aleluya. 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 Amén. Él no es parinero. Él no es parinero. Es capitán. El capitán. El capitán. Aleluya. 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 Amen. Aleluya. One more time. Aleluya. 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 Amen. Woo. Aleluya. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's coming down. The presence of the Lord will come down if you just lift your hands and you surrender. Amen. And you invite him into your spirit. Amen. The presence of the Lord is coming down. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. The presence of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray, I know the Lord will make a way. The power of the Lord, the power, coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. The power of the Lord is coming down. When the saints, that's you, I know the Lord will make a way. The power of the Lord. of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray, I know the Lord will make a way. The presence of the Lord is coming down. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. The presence of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray, I know, I know the, the Lord, Lord will make a way. way. The blessings of the Lord is coming down. The sing the power is coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. down, down. down. The power of the Lord it's is coming. coming. Come on, church. When the saints begin to pray, I, I know, know the Lord, Lord will make a way. way. The presence of the Lord it's is coming, coming down. down, down. It's coming down. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you want to be used as an instrument this morning? That should be the desires of our hearts. Amen. 
to be used every day of your of your life amen god god's god's going to use you if you just open up your heart open up your mind and just tell him use me father god i want to be used i want to be used as your instrument anyway but be your instrument amen make me an instrument an instrument of worship i lift up my hands lord to you make me an instrument an instrument of worship i lift up my hands lord to you all glory and honor all glory and honor to you lord forever i lift up my hands lord to you oh, in Spanish. an 
an instrument of worship. I lift up my hands, Lord, to you. Yes, church. Hallelujah. Make me an instrument, an instrument of worship. I lift up my hands, Lord, to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. As we continue to sing that song, amen, we have a need in the house of God this morning. Tenemos una necesidad en la casa de Dios. God bless you, my grandchildren. Amen. To be in the house of God is a privilege, Brother Saul. Amen. We could be someplace else. I'm going to call Brother Saul. He's going to come in front. He's going to stand in the gap for his granddaughter that is in the hospital today fighting uh, cancer. She's going to go through therapy. I want some brothers that are filled with the Holy Ghost. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, come over here and stand with our brother. Amen. We're going to pray for him. We're going to ask the Spirit of God. Hazme instrumento, Señor. You're going to make me an instrument, Lord, this morning. You know, the family told brother, uh, aren't you going to the hospital? He said, no, I'm going to go to church because I need to get my fill. I need to get my fill. See, because when he goes back to that hospital, he's going to put hands on his granddaughter and he's going to know God was going to make a way for him this morning. Amen. His granddaughter's name is Noel. Noel Ortiz. Hallelujah. Vamos a orar por nuestro hermano. Su nieta está en el hospital con cáncer este día. Vamos a orar que cuando él vaya, él puede poner mano, aleluya, sobre su nieta. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call Noel, Noel Ortiz, Lord God, for your honor, for your glory, my God. The Spirit of God that is here would go, Lord God, to that room where he's at, Lord, where she is. Father, we pray for Noel. We pray for her parents. We pray for the grandparents, Lord God. We pray your hand to be upon their lives and in their hearts, knowing that, Lord, we don't understand situations. We don't understand things in our lives, but we know that you would make us an instrument, an instrument to worship, an instrument to give you praise, an instrument to give you honor and glory, my God. We pray for Noel Ortiz, Lord God, that your hand would be upon her, her life, that she would know right now somebody has prayed for her, my God. Somebody is praying for her as we intercede. And our brother Saul, as her grandpa, would stand in the gap for her this morning. Make him an instrument, Lord. Make him an instrument, Father. Make him an instrument. Dios hazme. Dios hazme instrumento. We pray. We bring her to your throne of grace today, Lord God. Yo levanto mis manos. A ti. Come on, church. Call upon the name of the Lord. Noel Ortiz. In Jesus' name. Just receive it, Brother Saul. Receive it. What you receive now, you're going to take to the hospital. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Hazme instrumento que alabe tu nombre. Yo levanto, levanto. Ti, 
Come on. Let's lift our hands and give him glory this morning. Levante su mano. Dale honra. Dale gloria. Instrumento. Que alabe tu nombre. Alabe tu nombre. Yo levanto mis manos a ti. Honra y gloria. Honra y gloria. A Cristo. A Cristo. Por siempre. Yo levanto. Levanto mis manos a ti. Come on, somebody say it this morning. Honra y gloria a Cristo, a Cristo por siempre. Yo levanto, levanto mis manos a ti. Honor, let's give them honor and give them glory. Honor and glory, Lord. All honor and glory oh, to you, it. Lord. To him, Forever. brother Saul. Forever. To him. You lay, lift up my, my hands, Lord, to you. Somebody say that this morning. All honor, all honor and glory to you, Lord, to you, Lord, forever. I lift up my hands, Lord, to you. Hallelujah. There's nothing like being in the presence of God. Praise God. As we worship, as we praise, as we sing the chorus, que no estar en tu presencia. I want to be in your presence, Lord. Think about your life. Think about where you want to spend your life in Christ. Amen. Where is my life? We got a great speaker this morning that's going to come and share with us. Brother Adrian, are you about ready? He says, I come ready. Amen. Right after this song. Y poderte contemplar. Yo necesito. Necesito estar con. No other place so, somebody I say, Necesito adorar. Necesito adorar. Careful. Quiero estar en tu presencia y poderte contemplar. Y poderte contemplar. Yo necesito, necesito estar contigo. Ah, escucha, necesito adorar. Necesito adorar. Oh, levante su mano en esta mañana. Dame de beber, dame de beber. Give me, Lord. I need that living water. I need that living water, Lord. Give me to drink, Lord. Dame de this morning Lord I need that living water Father 
Father, you know the body here today, Lord. You know the needs of this body, Father God. We need more of you. We need more of you. Quiero estar. Quiero estar. I just want to be in your presence, Lord. And I want to look at you. Y poderte contemplar. I need, Lord God, to be in your presence. Necesito estar contigo. Yes, Lord. Necesito yes. adorar. Necesito I need to worship. Adorar. I need to praise. Come on. Dame de. Oh, hallelujah. De tu manantial. Dame de beber, Señor. Give me to drink of that living water. I need that living water. Every day I need a refreshing of you. Dame de bebé. Come on. Necesito más. Dame de bebé. Necesito más. Dame de bebé. Ajá. Ajá. Oh, dame de beber, Señor. Necesito, necesito más. Are you ready to receive God's word this morning? Están listos para recibir la palabra de Dios en esta mañana. We need to have our ears open, our eyes open, and our heart open so we can receive. See, God has already moved some things out of your life so that you can receive this morning. Brother Adrian, amen, evangelist, pastor, amen, and his wife, praise God. We thank the Lord for his goodness and his love. Thank you, amen. Let the word of God come and flow through you this morning. In Jesus' name, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a while since I haven't seen you guys. But praise God, I see you guys are steadfast, keep on going. And God is doing powerful things. Amen. Praise God. Before we go into the word of God, I'm going to ask my, my wife to come up and give a couple words. In English, in Espanol. Los dos. Gloria a Dios, ¿cuántos estamos gozosos? Amén, amén. Yo me gozaba y me, me deleitaba en esa alabanza y mientras yo estaba escuchándola, el Señor me decía que nosotros debemos ser como el siervo que brama por las aguas. Pero no por las aguas del mundo, pero por su presencia, su palabra. Y Dios me decía, así es como yo quiero que ustedes se deleiten, así es como yo quiero que ustedes se deleiten en mi presencia. Dios hablaba y Dios está aquí. 
usted está aquí en este lugar no porque quiso venir porque Dios tenía un plan y un propósito sabe una cosa cada vez que yo yo llego a un lugar a la iglesia yo siempre llego y le di y yo le digo al Señor yo no me voy a ir igual y yo no me voy de aquí hasta que tú no me bendigas yo tengo que salir diferente yo no puedo salir siendo la misma yo vine por mi porción y yo me voy con ella eso debe de ser el anhelo de nosotros no llegar como todo cada domingo y salirnos iguales pero Dios quiere que lleguemos con el anhelo de ser transformados ser sanados liberados y yo me deleitaba porque miraba a su siervo yesterday ayer estuve en un restaurante donde llegó una mujer en una silla de ruedas entonces cuando yo la miraba Dios me mostró la tristeza la amargura en la cual ella se encontraba no solo en esa silla por su condición pero espiritualmente ella estaba muy mal entonces yo me puse a llorar porque Dios me hacía sentir el dolor de esa mujer y, y oraba lloraba por ella y yo lloraba yo no podía detener mi llanto porque sabía que ella tenía necesitaba algo y yo vengo aquí y lo miro a él y miro la diferencia de estar en Dios y estar sin Dios porque él está allí pero él se goza y se, y se deleita en la presencia de Dios. Puedo mirar algo diferente que lo que yo miré ayer. Si usted no tiene dolor, si no te duelen las personas que tú miras a tu alrededor, dile al Señor que te ponga misericordia. Porque yo no sé qué me está pasando, pero últimamente escucho de alguien que está enfermo y no puedo parar de llorar. Y no puedo parar de clamar. Escuché de su nieta. Y yo le clamé a Dios allí. Y mi corazón se empezó a, a, a quebrantar. Tengo mi corazón quebrantado. Pero yo creo que hay un Dios de poder. Un Dios que escuchó nuestra oración. Y que yo he visto milagros hacer Dios a través de la oración la oración tiene poder solo reciba esa, reciba esa palabra tome esa palabra y diga esa palabra es para mi nieta ella se va a levantar porque el mismo Dios que levantó a Lázaro de los muertos la va a levantar a ella Amén, Dios les bendiga, sigamos deleitándonos porque yo sé que Dios tiene hoy una palabra. Tuvimos oposición, pero aquí estamos porque venció el Señor por nosotros. Así es que usted es vencedor porque Cristo Jesús venció por usted. Amén, Dios les bendiga. Amén, praise God. I'm going to ask you to open up your Bible, please. Oh, we're going to do it in Spanish, in English? I will do my very best. Voy a pedir que abra su Biblia, por favor, su carta de amor. I'm going to ask you to open up your Bible, your letter of love. En el libro de Lucas, in the book of Luke, capítulo 17, verse 7, chapter 17.
versículo 11. Book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 11. Y dice la palabra de Dios así en el nombre del Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo. The word of God is said in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Spanish it says, Y yendo Jesús a Jerusalén, pasaba entre Samaria y Galea, y entró en una aldea, y salió a encontrar diez hombres leprosos, los cuales se pararon de lejos. And it came to pass that he went to Jerusalem, and he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, that he entered into a certain village, and there met him ten men that had leopard, which stood from afar. Father, I come in Jesus' name. Padre, vengo en tu presencia, Padre, que hoy los hables como siempre salvado, that you speak to us like you speak to us all the time. En el nombre poderoso de Cristo Jesús, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pueden sentarse en la presencia de Dios, que sea en God. I see some new faces, and I see familiar faces. Veo caras nuevas, y caras que ya mirado antes. Y una de las cosas que Dios me puso hoy en este fin de semana, God, what God put in my heart for this weekend, God was taking me back a couple of years. Dios me estaba llevando unos años para atrás. Y me recuerdo cuando yo llegué a la iglesia hace como 25 años, when I came to church about 25 years ago, I didn't know nothing about God, no sabía nada de Dios. I was a, I can honestly say that I was a knucklehead on the streets. Puedo decir confiadamente que fui un vago en la calle. Pero cuando Dios me llamó a, a venir a su casa, when God called me to come to his house, I was so curious about the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow. Estaba tan curioso del poder de Dios. Wow. Because I had this mentality of what the word thought about, about the world thought about me. Yo tenía esa mentalidad a lo que el mundo pensaba de mí. See, in the world, they told us all kinds of negative things about our lives. Right. En el mundo, los dijeron tantas cosas negativas de nuestra vida. For the style that we were living in, that's the reason why they would mark us in one way or form. Por el estilo de vida como vivíamos, así los marcaban en una manera forma. So when I came to church, when yo vine a la iglesia, I honestly expected God to be the same. Yo pensaba que Dios iba a decirme igual lo que el mundo decía de mí. But God had a different opinion. Dios tenía una opinión muy diferente de mí. When I sat down and I was receiving the word of God, cuando estaba ahí sentado recibiendo la palabra de Dios, yo miraba que Dios me hablaba con amor y con misericordia. I would, I would look how God would talk to me with mercy and he would talk to me with love. Uh -huh. It wasn't the, the very straight hits that I would receive from the world. He would show me the love that I needed inside my life. Él me enseñaba el amor que yo necesitaba en mi vida. See, all my life I was battered from the world. Uh -huh. Todo mi vida fui golpeado por el mundo. But when I finally came to the house of God, cuando al fin vine a la casa de Dios, God turned things around. Dios Amen. volteó las cosas. Amen. See, there's a lot of people up to this day. Hay mucha gente hasta esta fecha. They might come to church, han venido a la iglesia, pero todavía tienen como estos hombres que estamos mirando en la escritura. They still have what the, like these men on the scripture. There's a lot of people that are still marked with that leopard on, upon their leprosy, the leprosy uh -huh. upon their life. Yes. And the thing is that sometimes we don't get close enough to God because we're still marked from the things from the past. Right. Hay cosas todavía en nuestra vida que el enemigo los tiene sostenido para poder llegar a la presencia de Dios. The Bible says clearly, la Biblia dice claramente, dice claramente que los hombres que tenían lepra se pararon y lo miraron de lejos. The Bible says that these le the people that had leprosy saw him from afar. So I want to ask you a question. Why didn't they get close enough? ¿Por qué no se acercaron? I understand that they did have leprosy, and I know they probably were banned and disqualified in one way or form, but they had the healer in front of them. Lo que no entiendo algo, ¿por qué si no se acercaron, si tenían el sanador, el liberador en frente de ellos? El problema es que estaban tan marcados del mundo. They were so marked from the world that when the true love came to them, cuando el verdadero amor vinieron a ellos, no lo entendían, they didn't understand it. 
See, the problem is that sometimes we're so battered and scarred from the things of the world. That's the reason why we don't get close enough to God. Hay muchas personas ahora en estos días que están tan golpeados y tienen cicatrices del pasado, por eso no se acercan a la presencia de Dios. The only reason why they don't get close enough, why? Because those scars and those hurt and that pain, ese dolor, esa lastimadura que cargan del pasado, no los deja acercar a la presencia de Dios because they think God is going to be the same like the world was with them. The problem is we still carry that. And God wants to heal us, but sometimes we don't want to be healed. Hay momentos que Dios quiere sanarlos, pero no queremos ser sanados. We hacemos el intento querer ser sanados en diferentes maneras, formas del mundo. We try to be healed in different parts of things from the world when God wants to give you the pure healing. Cuando Dios te quiere dar la sanidad divina sobre tu vida. So I want to ask you something. Te quiero hacer una pregunta. ¿Por qué no has dejado Dios que sane tus heridas? Why haven't you let God heal your wounds? Why do you still carry those open wounds in your life? ¿Por qué todavía cargas esas memorias de dolor en tu vida? Y tienes años en la iglesia, meses en la iglesia, your years in the church, months in the church, and still God with his open arms trying to heal you, but yet you don't get close enough. Dios ha querido sanarte y vienes a la iglesia con los brazos abiertos que Dios te quiere sanar, pero no te acercas. ¿Por qué? Why? Because you care more about what they say outside about what he thinks about you? Porque te importa más lo que piensan otros que Dios piensa de ti? That's the problem. We care more about what people say than what God thinks about us. Ese es el problema. Que a veces nos importa más lo que dice la gente, lo que Dios piensa de los otros. Y por esas situaciones, hay muchas personas que no han sido sanadas. And because of that situation, there's a lot of people that haven't been healed completely. You want, to serve, you want to serve God, but every time you take that step of faith, that voice from the past holds you back. Cada vez que tú quieres a, a servirle al Señor y tomar un paso de fe, la voz del pasado te sostiene y te jala para atrás. What is that voice that still holds you back? There was a voice that would always tell me in the beginning of the years of the ministry. Había una voz del enemigo que me, me hablaba y, y me estaba sosteniendo de empezar el ministerio. That that saying that there still exists up to this day. There's a word that on the street says, once a tweaker, always a tweaker. Wow. Una frase que dice en la calle, un drogadicto siempre va a ser un drogadicto. Wow. And, we, and I had that in my life. I had that because every time God wanted to do something and God was opening doors, I was scared. Why? Because I had that in the back of my mind. Wow. Todavía lo tenía atrás de mi mente. Dios estaba abriendo puertas, pero yo con el miedo de fallarle a Dios. I had that mentality that I wasn't going to fail God in one way or form. But we all fail God. Todos fallamos a Dios. There's nobody perfect here. No hay nadie perfecto. But the problem is you don't allow the, the carpenter to construct you. Tú no dejas que el carpintero te construye. Todavía quieres tener esos huecos en tu vida. You still want to have those holes in your life. And God wants to start healing you. God wants to start fixing those holes. But you're not allowing him. No lo estás haciendo. No lo estás permitiendo. Because every time he gets close to you, you back away. Cada vez que se acerca a ti, tú te haces para atrás. That's why I was questioning to myself when I was reading the scripture. Por eso me estaba cuestionando cuando estaba leyendo esa escritura. Si los mismos leprosos escucharon por ahí que Jesús estaba caminando por ahí. Escucharon que Dios estaba sanando, restaurando, levantando. Even the lepers that were there in that time, even though they were disqualified and they seen them in the corner, or whatever, but they still heard what was coming around the streets, what was word of mouth that were that God was healing. Yeah. So I have a question. If if they stop, imagine they were here, all seven, ten of them were here. Todos los días estaban aquí. De repente Jesús pasó enfrente de ellos. That all of a sudden Jesus passed in front of them. They heard already that Jesus was around. Ellos escucharon que Jesucristo estaba alrededor y dijeron, ¿Por qué me voy a quedar aquí atado? Why am I going to stay here in the corner, of bound up? I'm going to come out of my shell. Voy a salir de mi lugar y voy a agarrar mi bendición. I'm going to get my blessing. The problem is that sometimes we're like scared puppies in a corner. A veces estamos como unos perritos asustados en una esquina. ¿Por qué? Porque a mí nos hemos golpeados y bofeteados. We've been slapped around by life and we feel that's where we belong. But that's a lie of the enemy. It's una mentira. We don't belong in a corner. Nosotros no estamos en una esquina. Dios te llamó para que te levantes en victoria. God has called you to stand up in victory. 
But it's your choice. Es tu decisión. This little blaming game, the whole world needs to stop in your life. Todo de estar echándole la culpa, todo el mundo debe parar. We start blaming, oh, because it's my dad, that's the reason why I don't get up. It's because my mom, that's the reason why I don't get up. It's because my grandma or whatever. No, it's your choice. Le echamos la culpa a todo el mundo. Es por mi esposo, es por mi esposa, por mi papá, por mi mamá, por el vecino, el chucho, el perro. Le echamos la culpa a todo el mundo. We even blame the neighbor's dog because we don't get up. But you have the victory in your hand, but yet you choose not to get up. Tú tienes la victoria en tus manos, pero tú decides no pararte. You choose to live that life. Tú escoges de vivir esa vida. When are you going to come out of your rut? When are you going to come out of that shell? When are you going to come out of that hole? ¿Cuándo vas a salir literalmente del hoyo? You've been in that hole for a very long time. He estado en ese hoyo por un tiempo tan largo. Y todavía Dios te extiende la mano, te extiende la mano para salir. The God is stretched out his hand to take you out of the hole, but sometimes you just slap his hand out. Que no le da la cachetada. No, no, I don't. I want to be here because you made that area here your safe zone. Tú has hecho ese hoyo tu tu área de protección because you've been hurt so much porque has sido tan bofeteado that you can't continue on anymore. And you know what tripped me out more? Sabe lo que me impactó más? Que cuando Dios sanó los leprosos, that when God healed the lepers, he told them, go and talk, go to, to the priest. Que vaya a hablar con los sacerdotes. Go and show them. Vaya a demostrarle que están sanos. And I asked myself, ¿por qué Dios le dijo que hacer eso? I asked, me pregunté, ¿por qué Dios le mandó? Why did Jesus tell them, go to the priest? I know the book of Deuteronomy says it, that we need to go to the priest. Yo sé que el libro de Deuteronomio dice que debemos ir, pero... One thing I said to myself, I go, why? Why? Because sometimes, honestly, with all due respect, we care about the voice of other people than what God thinks about us. Porque nos importa más la voz del otro que la voz de Dios. When are you going to start cleaning out your ears and say, I don't want to hear man's voice anymore? ¿Cuándo te vas a limpiar las orejas y decir, ya no quiero escuchar la voz del hombre? I want to hear God's voice. I'm tired of hearing all the wishy-washy stuff of the world. Estoy cansado de escuchar todas cosas negativas del mundo. Because I keep on listening to them, that's the reason I don't rise up. Porque yo escucho mal la voz de ellos, por eso no me levanto. Believe me, if I would listen to what people have said to me over the years, I wouldn't even be here with you guys. Si yo estuviera escuchando de las cosas que me han dicho de mí durante los años, no estaría enfrente de ustedes. Pero hice una decisión. I made a choice. I'm saying I'm going to listen to God's voice. No me voy a escuchar la voz de Dios. Porque Él es el único que me va a abrir las puertas. Él es el único que me va a levantar. He's the only one that's going to open up the doors. He's the only one that's going to uplift me. Because if I listen to man's voice, if I listen to the voice of man, no va a haber avance in my life. There won't be an advancement in my life if I listen to man's voice. How many times have you listened to your friend's advice and you end up more down than up? ¿Cuántas veces has escuchado la voz de una amistad y estás más para abajo que para arriba escuchándolos a ellos? But when you listen to God's voice, when you escucha la voz del del Señor, tú empiezas a mirar cómo Dios empieza a arreglar las cosas. You start seeing how God starts fixing and arranging things in your life. But it's your choice, though. See, the problem is, we don't want to take a step of faith. No queremos tomar un paso de fe. Porque estamos tan lastimados. We're so damaged. We literally have a spiritual leprosy in our life. Que tenemos una vida espiritual de leproso. Porque tenemos miedo porque los han mirado diferente. They've seen us different. They judge us. They put us in a, in a, in a category. Los han puesto en, un, en, en, una, en una área de los otros. Y Dios te quiere sacar de eso. Dios quiere ponerte en lugares altos. God wants to put you in high places. And you might ask yourself, well, you know what? I don't think so. Look at the style that I live. Look at the neighborhood that I live. Mira donde yo vivo, el barrio, aquí que el otro. No. Dios quiere levantarte. Dios nunca, nunca va a querer verte que tú estás bajo. 
God will never want you to be low. He wants to put you in the high. Amen. But it's your choice, though. Yes. Yes. So I'm asking, why haven't you stepped out of your hole? ¿Por qué no salido de tu hoyo? Or maybe it's because you like being in that hole. Or a lo mejor porque quieres estar en ese hoyo. See, there's a lot of people that like to be in their hole. You know that? And they see all the blessings from the hole up, but yet they choose to be down here. Hay muchas personas que miran las bendiciones allá arriba, pero escogen de estar acá abajo. La Biblia dice claramente que vamos en victoria en victoria, en gloria en gloria. The Bible says clearly that we won victory in victory in glory in glory. So that means if we're down here, God wants us to start climbing, start getting to higher places. La Biblia dice claramente que a veces muchos están aquí y Dios quiere que empecemos a levantarlos y subirlos en lugares altos. Pero como dije, like I said, there's a lot of people that like the low land. Que le gusta la tierra abajo. Cuando Dios te quiere tener acá arriba. Hay muchas personas, there's a lot of people that should be up here already long, long time ago. Hay muchas personas que deben estar hasta acá arriba tiempo y tiempo ya. Pero el problema que prefieren estar acá abajo. That they choose to be down here. Y Dios te ha puesto todas las bendiciones en frente de ti. God has put all the blessings in front of you. But yet you choose to be down here. Why? Why? Is it because maybe you don't want to leave the neighborhood? O al amor no quieres dejar el barrio? You don't want to leave your friends? No quieres dejar tus amigos? See, sometimes God needs to scatter everybody out. But you go and look for them. I don't know why. Yo no sé por qué digo eso. I don't know why I'm going to say this. But I feel in my heart that God has scattered a couple friends from you. But somehow, some way, you say, oh, I miss them so much. And God is telling you, what are you missing? The malias? What are you missing? The drunken stages? What are you missing? The bad life? That's what you're missing? Yeah. Mucha gente, Dios ha querido quitarte gente de tu vida. Gente que no te va a dejar subir a un éxito de Dios. Right. Y tú dices, ay, cómo los extraño. ¿Extrañas qué? ¿La borrachera? ¿Las malías? ¿La loquera? Perdóname, pero no me llevó ni un lugar bueno. It didn't take me nowhere, nowhere good. So why am I going to miss that? God has literally plucked you out from them. Dios te ha quitado de ellos, but you keep on running back. Tú sigues corriendo para atrás. I'm going to give you an example. Te voy a dar un ejemplo. Let's just say that I buy a pig named Arnold. I buy him from a farm. Lo compro un, un chancho. Lo baño, I take him a shower. Lo peino, I comb him. I polish his nails, le, le hago sus uñas. Le pongo su moño, I put a little bow on Arnold. And you look at Arnold saying, wow, what a beautiful pig. I'm going to take him to the, to the fair. Lo voy a llevar ahí, al, al, ahí al, al, a la feria. Y tú te vas a cambiar, you go and change. And all of a sudden you come back and you left Arnold here. Tú dejaste aquí el chancho. Y lo buscas, and you look for him and say, where, Arnold, where are you? ¿Dónde está Sancho? And all of a sudden you see Arnold in the pig mud again. And you ask yourself, Arnold, see, yo te acabo de bañar y estás en el lodo otra vez. See, I just washed you and you're in the mud again. Why? I polished you. I did everything possible that you look shiny, smell good, put cologne on you and everything. And what happened? You ran back. There's a lot of people that God wants to take you out of the mud, but you run back. Hay mucha gente que Dios te ha querido sacar del lodo, pero tú corres para atrás como el chancho en el lodo. Y Dios está diciendo, no te entiendo. I don't understand you. 
you know, in church saying, Jesus, I love you. Señor, yo te quiero. Señor, levántame. Use me. Uplift me. God, I'm here. I love you. I don't want to go back to drugs. Yo no quiero ir a la droga. I don't want to be an alcoholic. Yo no quiero la borrachera. Señor, aquí el otro. Y Dios te saca de ahí. Te empieza a limpiar, purificar. God takes you out, cleans you, bur- bow tie and everything. And all of a sudden, service is over and you run back to the mud. I don't understand that. Yeah. You over here weeping, o como dicen en español, lágrimas de cocodrilo. Yeah. And you over here crying, oh God, I don't want to be the same anymore, God. And God cleans you up, purifies you, washes you, breaks the chains, but you run back. Woo. Why? ¿Por qué? O en fresh, ¿por qué? Why? Because maybe you don't want to be set free yet. O a lo mejor tú no quieres ser libre todavía. You know, last weekend we were at a, at a seminar of a deliverance through a pastora, through a, through a preacher. And she was talking about the deliverance. And there is deliverance in everything, but it's up to you if you want to be delivered. Right. See, there's one thing that God is not going to do, force you. Right. Hay una cosa que Dios no va a hacer, forzarte. Right. You got to choose to be delivered out of that. Yeah. Porque tú puedes decir, yo quiero ser libre. You can tell the Lord, I want to be set free. But you really mean it, though? Right. Yeah. ¿De verdad mente? ¿Quieres ser liberado? Porque hay una cosa que Dios no te va a forzar de ser libre. God is not going to force you to be delivered. That's right. It's your decision. Amen. It's your decision to say, you know what? If I come to church, si vengo a la iglesia, it's because I want to be set free. Amen. Porque quiero ser libre. I want to let go of the things of the past. Amen. Quiero soltar las cosas del pasado. Y hasta que no le dé completamente acceso a Dios. If I don't give God a complete access in my, in my life, he's not going to be able to do it. You just can't give him what you want. He's asking for everything. Amen. How is it that we literally tell God all of his blessings that we deserve, but when God says, this is what I want from you, we put a halt on him. Porque es cuando queremos todas las bendiciones de Dios que derramen sobre los otros como lluvia. Pero cuando Dios te dice, ah, esto de ti, dices, le ponemos un alto. Así como Dios le estás pidiendo que derrame la bendición. Just like you're asking God to pour out his blessings upon him. God is saying, okay, this is what I want and require from you. Uh-huh. Esto es lo que yo requiero de ti también. Uh-huh. You want me to open up the heavens above, shower with the grace and glory and the mercy and the, and the and the blessings upon your life, all I'm asking is your heart. Yeah. All I'm asking is obedience. No más estoy pidiendo tu corazón y tu obediencia, no más. Yo te voy a derramar toda la bendición, pero no más requiero la obediencia, no más requiero tu corazón. Later on, we get mad with God and ask, why hasn't God blessed me? ¿Por qué Dios no me ha bendecido? Why does he bless such and such and such, brother such and such and not me? I've been here longer. Yo estaba aquí más en la iglesia. The only reason why maybe God doesn't bless you abundantly, o que Dios no te bendice completamente, is because when he's asked for something, you don't want to do it. Cuando Dios te ha pedido algo, no lo quieres hacer. And you know God speaks to you. God speaks to us in different ways and forms. Dios lo sabe en diferentes maneras y formas. He speaks to us through a cartoon. Lo sabe por un caricatura. Lo sale hasta por un perrito. He talks to us even through a dog. Believe me. God always will tell us, warn us right before we're about to jump into the mud. But sometimes we choose to ignore his voice. Sometimes we care more about the homies than God's voice. A veces nos importa más, literalmente, la voz de los amigos que la voz de Dios. I don't know. Why am I going to say this? No sé por qué lo voy a decir, pero. I know, and you know what? To show you that God loves you and respects you and, do, and, and doesn't want to put you on the spot, uh-huh. I'm going to turn around and say it over here. 
You know that God has spoken to you when, with, your, when, with the pipa in the hand yeah. and the lighter, and you're about to roll that meth, and God has told you, don't do it. Right. Don't do it. God has spoken to you many of times. And you stop and you hesitate because you know God is talking to you. But because you care more about getting high and you care more about the people around you, you ignore his voice. And I'm saying this to English because you understand more English than Spanish. Come on. Come on. And you're about to hit it and you say, no, 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 no. And you try to like wash it off by ignoring the conversation between them, but your lips start turning purple. And then you know you need to walk away and God you can feel God literally tugging you and saying come on and even the phone is ringing saying you know what you need to go home you need to go home wow. and you're like mute come on. and you end up staying but because God's a gentleman come on. he's not going to drag you out right. he's going to say it's your choice I'll still love you. Right. I'll, stre I'll still stretch out my hand. Uh -huh. But sooner or later, you're going to realize that is destroying you. Right. What are you going to do when God literally starts telling you, you know what? I've tried. Uh -huh. I've tried. Because the day is going to come. That day is going to come. Ese día va a llegar. Uh -huh. Y toda puerta se te va a cerrar. Every door is going to be closed. Because God has opened up so many doors in your life, but yet you choose not to go into one of them at least. Come on. And God says, all right then. There's a scripture in the Bible that says literally, if you don't want the blessing, I'm going to give it to another person. And it's going to be hard. Why? Because the blessing that you deserve, you see it literally go into somebody else's hands. That's why sometimes we got to be bright and alert, ready to receive our blessing. Por eso debemos estar atentos para recibir la bendición de Dios. The prodigal son, when he was out there in the party life, when el hijo prodigo estaba allá en las fiestas, when he got his part, his portion of the finances of his dad, when agarró la porción de su padre, he thought he was happy. Él pensó que estaba contento. He was living a life. Estaba viviendo su vida. All of a sudden, a famine came. Yeah. Vino una hambre. Los amigos ya no estaban. The friends weren't there anymore. Right. He found himself literally giving food to pigs. Controlman, llegó el momento que le estaba dando a comer a los puercos. He had a hit so low to understand what his father wanted to do in his life. Él estaba a pegar fuerte para poder entender lo que su padre quería hacer en su vida. But you know how God loves us so much, tú sabes que Dios los ama tanto, that he doesn't want you to hit that hard, that he's trying to avoid for you to hit that hard. Because once you hit hard, sometimes there's a possibility you don't come back from it. So if God loves you so much and is warning you right now, out of his love and out of his mercy, that tomorrow's not promised for nobody, then maybe we should open up our eyes right now. Amen. I always ask myself when I wake up, God, am I going to live tomorrow? I hope that you give me the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom Amen. to be able to open up my eyes tomorrow. And if God allows me to open up my eyes one more day, because he still has a purpose in my life. Si Dios me está dando la oportunidad de abrir los ojos un día más, es porque hay un propósito en la vida. Don't throw away the purpose that God has for you. Can I pray for you? Come here, young man. <laughs> you remind me so much of Samson. <laughs> mm. 
Samson, Samson has such a grace and covering of God upon his life. But the problem with Samson, that he thought that he could mess around, knowing that God will always be there because of the strength that was upon him, the covering that was upon him. And the devil did everything possible to find a, a weakness in him. Put everything possible in front of him till he finally found out what that weakness was to be able to stop him. I don't know who you are, but God does know who you are. And I'm telling you this right now. The enemy has been asking for your soul. And he's been looking and looking for a weakness. It's your choice to stand fast, to be strong, or fall in that trap. I'm not saying that you're a sinner. I'm not. Because we all have temptations. But if God loves you so much like he is talking to you right now, there are certain things that you need to stray away. Father, I come in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. That you protect this young man, Lord. That you move everything that needs to be moved away from his life, Lord. Because there's a promise of God upon his life. Hay una promesa de Dios sobre su vida. Te pido, Señor Padre, que todo obstáculo, that every obstacle, every stumbly stone, toda piedra tropiezo, que se quite, Señor, to be removed, para que llegue la bendición, that he would come to the blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, in the nombre de Jesús. prodigal son had to come back because he knew he couldn't do it without him. Yeah. And under the fear of God, I'm going to say this, abajo la presencia de Dios y el temor de Dios, voy a decir esto. I highly respect this church. That hay personas, there's people here that have strayed away from God. And I do know that God dwells in this place. Si sé que Dios mora en este lugar. But some of you have played with God. Una que otra jugado con Dios. And I'm going to use this so that it could be more understandable. Lo voy a usar para que se pueda entender más. Some of you have made this church like a car wash. Han usado esta iglesia como un lavacarros. I drive around all week, get dirty, and just come on Sunday, get washed, and then I'll get outside. Que lo más han usado aquí la iglesia como un lavacarros, un lugar donde lavaban carros. Que me lavo el domingo y ya el lunes hasta el sábado me sucio y regreso el domingo y me lavo otra vez. Pero la Biblia dice que mañana no prometido para nadie. The Bible says that tomorrow is not promised to nobody. You need to stop using this as a car wash. You need to get fully detailed. And I'm talking about nicks and crannies in the car. Yeah. Not just the regular wash, not just the regular armor all. Literally, what God needs to take out the toothbrush and start cleaning certain areas. Donde yo debe sacar literalmente ciertas áreas, limpiar ciertas áreas escondidas que hay en nuestra vida. Porque esas cosas escondidas, those small little things that we try to hide from God, they're a big thing that are holding you back. Son una cosa grande que te están sosteniendo. Some of you are still drinking. I'm sorry to say this. I say this under the fear of God. And if you get mad at me, okay. praise God. It's okay. It's okay. Some of you are still messing around. Some of you are still hitting the pipa. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I'm nobody to judge. Why? Because I have my imperfections also. But I'm on the same boat just exactly like you trying to get to heaven. And I'm asking every day to God, show me so I can get closer and closer to him. Yes. And if he has to break me down, pluck things out of my life, and do what he needs to do in my life so I can get to heaven and those gates will not be closed on me, do what you have to do. Even if it hurts, even if it needs to take people away from me, that maybe I grew up with them. Uh-huh. Sometimes God needs to do that. Yes, he does. Why? Because where God wants to take you, maybe those people are not ready. I'm not saying that they're disqualified. It's that God wants to do something in your life so you could take them later on with you. Yes. So I say this with a humble heart. Lo digo con un corazón bien humilde. This is the day you come out of your hole. Este es el día que tú sales de tu hoyo. Pero tú decides, ¿no? Tú decides. I told this to this young man back in El Salvador. Le dije esto a un hombre en El Salvador. And I told him literally in the presence of God that God showed me that he had three days to repent. Que tenía tres días para arrepentirse. And he literally laughed in front of me in front of the whole congregation. When I left, the pastor called me on the fourth day and he says, remember that man that laughed in front of you in the whole church? I said, yeah, he died. And when he was in the hospital, we tried to talk to him and say, remember the man of God spoke to you that you have three days, you're in the hospital now, you're about to die, you need to repent. He still laughed. See, God loves us so much that he warns us. Yes, he does. Especially now in these end times. Maybe a couple of years back, maybe we could have fooled around with God. But now the times are getting closer and closer. Now God is about to enter. And we just need to change certain things in our lives. Amen. I'm going to ask everybody to stand in the presence of God, please. I don't know in the audio if you have a a background music, something soft, because I even want I even want the worship team to be ministering. Over the years, I've been in some churches that, with all due respect, I say this under the fear of God. There's even some of the worship team feels that, oh, the church can't move without me. I don't know where you got that in your mind. Church was going on 2,000 years ago before you were born. I do understand that maybe God has given you a talent, but don't think you're the artist of the church. I don't know why I'm saying this, and don't scratch my car, please. I'm going to ask you to put your hand on your heart. Wait, you put your hand on your heart. Father, I come delante de tu presencia. Come to front of your presence, Holy Spirit. And Father, we ask in Jesus' name that right now you start working in our lives. Que tú empieces a trabajar en nuestra vida, Señor. Hay cosas que no te agradan en tu presencia. There's things that are not that well in front of your presence things that have probably gotten you sand, that han agarrado la mucha tristeza por nuestras acciones y nuestra manera de ser, or nuestras actions and the way that we are. Father, I want to come out of this hole. Yo quiero salirme de este hoyo. I'm tired of being in this hole. Ya estoy cansado de estar en este hoyo. I know you have called me for great things. Yo sé que tú me has llamado para cosas grandes. But I can't continue on like this. No puedo seguir yo con esto, Señor. I've been in this hole for years. He estado en este hoyo por años. 
y tú has querido sacarme en esos años. You have tried to take me out of that hole for years. But sometimes I refuse to get out. Hay momentos que yo no quiero salirme de este hoyo. Pero yo sé que hoy me has hablado como siempre me has hablado. I know today you've spoken to me like you've always spoken to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get out of this place. Estoy listo para salirme de este lugar. I'm ready to give up the drug life. I'm, I'm ready to give up the alcohol. I'm ready to give up anything that's going to hold me back from getting to victory. Estoy listo para romper toda cosa que me está sosteniendo para llegar a la victoria. Estoy como el hijo pródigo. I'm like the prodigal son coming to home. No más estar en la presencia de mi padre. Just to be in the presence of my father. That's all I want. I'm not going to let the things from the past hold me from my destination with you. No voy a dejar las cosas del pasado que me sostengan del destino que tú tienes para mí. This altar is open. Este altar está abierto. If you need to bring something to the presence of God, this altar is open. Este altar está abierto si tú necesitas traer algo al altar. If you need to bring that situation that's holding you back, go ahead and bring it. Only you and God knows what it is. Tomás, tú y Dios sabe lo que es. You don't have to say it out loud. No es necesario que tú lo digas a voz alta. He already knows what it is. Él ya sabe lo que es. But he's saying, just bring it. I remember 25 years ago when they made that altar call and they told me to do that. I came to the altar call and, and since I, I didn't know the church vocabulary, I pulled out a nine millimeter. I pulled out the two eight balls of meth, pulled out the glass lighter, and I pulled out the lighter, and I put it on the altar. I didn't know the vocabulary of church at that time and moment. That was everything was holding me down. And I had to put it on the, on the altar. Yes. Now I'm saying it spiritually. Bring it. Whatever it is. Maybe it's your character. Maybe it's your vocabulary, your mentality. Maybe it's something that's holding you down as an alcohol, drugs, or whatever. I don't know. Just bring it to the altar. This is your moment. This is your moment that God is stretching out the hand saying, I'm going to take you out of the hole. Te voy a sacar del hoyo. That hole that you've been there for a very long time, and you know you've been there. Ese hoyo que está todavía ahí que no has querido salir. Hoy yo te voy a sacar. I'm going to take you out. But it's your choice, though. So curious how I see this picture on the television where we see him stretching out his hand. When I saw that, I was, wait a minute, that's exactly what the Lord is talking to the people. That he's literally stretching out the hand. Yes, Let me yes. get you out of the hole. Yes, yes. Let me get you out of the hole. Yes, yes. Let me get you out of the hole of depression that you're in. Yes, yes. Let me get you out of that hole of loneliness that you're in. Yes, yes. Let me get you out of that hole of the tears that yes, you've been there. Yes. Let me get you out of that hole. Yes, yes. Let me break that suicide mentality that you've been carrying for years. Yes. Let me get it out of you. Yes. I don't know why I'm saying this, but this altar is open for you. Yes. It's time for you to climb out. Yes. The hand is there. The ladder is there. The rope is there. Everything's there. All you need to do is just hold on. Todo está ahí, ahí tienes todas las herramientas para salirte. La mano de que te estás tirando, los escalones, te está, una, una, un mecate te lo han ventado para salirte. Es tu decisión, this is your moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is your moment, ¿quién más? Who else? Who else says I'm going to come out of my hole? I'm going to come out of the chair because sometimes, believe it or not, we even use the chair that we're sitting at the hole. Uh -huh. And God said, get out of that hole. Come on, get out of that hole. This is my moment. Yes. Father God, I come in Jesus' name and in the name of Jesus, Señor. Voy a pedir mi amada esposa que me ayude a orar. I'm going to ask my wife to help me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray for you. 
Oh Espíritu Santo, empieza a romper, Señor, cadenas, Señor. Empieza a romper toda mentira. I ask in Jesus' name that you break every chain right now. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Que empieces a tocar la vida, Señor, de cada uno de los otros. That you start touching our lives. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Oh, Ramama Shukuta, Ramama Lord, you know everything about us. Lord, we cannot hide anything from you. No podemos esconder nada, Padre. Y venemos delante de ti. We come in front of you, Lord, right now. That right now you just start delivering us right now, Lord, from anything that's holding us back. Que tú empieces a sanarlos, restaurarlos de cualquier cosa que lo está sosteniendo. En el nombre de Jesús. Padre, yo te pido, Señor, que tu nombre se glorifique, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús. That your name will be glorified in Jesus' name right now, Lord. Right now that you just break every chain of bondage. Que quiebre toda cadena, Señor Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Se rompe, Señor Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Que tú empieces a sanar y restaurar ahora. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Empieza a tocar, Señor Padre, ahora la vida de cada uno de los otros. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Empieza a mover, Señor, tu mano sobre cada uno de los otros, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor. Señor Padre, en Jesus name, oh Padre, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre, empieza a llenar, Señor, más y más, Señor Padre, quita toda cosa que está estorbando, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, en Jesus name, en el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre, tocar, Señor Padre, a la vida, cada uno de los otros, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Oh, yes, Lord, in Jesus' name, Señor Padre. Empieza a tocar, Señor Padre, ahora, Padre. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor. En Jesus' name, We break everything. Quebramos cualquier cosa de mentira, de engaño. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. En Jesus' name, ahora desde la coronilla hasta la planta de los pies, Señor Padre. Toda cosa que estorbe, toda cosa que está molestando, Padre. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor, empieza a mover tu mano ahí, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Declarando, Señor Padre, por tu palabra, dice, por tus llagas somos sanados. Y declarando el poder de Dios, Señor Padre, sobre la vida de cada uno de nosotros, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús, that you put your hand upon us in Jesus' mighty name. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. Oh, mamá, she que te rerera más su remasi tirerera. Tirerera más si que tirerera mandora. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Y basho co tu rabasi que tirerema mamanda rebebesitra. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor, en Jesus' name. Testimony about what I did on the 
My wife is right there. That won't let me lie what I'm going to say. Mi esposa está ahí para que no miente lo que voy a decir. I had a dream of this church two days ago. Tuve un sueño de esta iglesia dos días. Y miré que empezó la liberación. I saw that the deliverance started going. But I did see one man. Si mire un hombre aquí. I understand sometimes we get frustrated. A veces, yo, a veces los frustramos. And that frustration builds up into anger. Esa frustración se construye a, a coraje. I say this with highly respect. Lo digo con un respeto a la presencia de Dios. There's a brother here that has a, an anger problem. And you've been fighting it for a very long time. Tienes un espíritu de coraje que se manifiesta. And you've tried, believe me, you tried every which way form to calm it down but you get frustrated to a point that it, it turns into anger. And God wants to deliver you from that. Hoy Dios te quiere liberar de eso. But it's your choice, like I said. It's tu decisión. You know, you've tried your best to cover it up and without even noticing, sometimes you express it sometimes here in church. But it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. No significa que eres una mala persona. It's just, it means that God wants to heal you from the pain that you've had since you were small. You've been carrying that for years, years, literally, since you were small. Vas cargado de años desde que estás chiquito. But today God's going to give you a choice. Either you can... Come to the altar and say, brother, that's me and I want to be set free. Or after the service, say, brother, that was me, but I, I didn't want nobody to see. Because I have a position here in church. And, and I, don't, I don't want people to talk. I understand you because I've been in that situation. If you want to say right now, brother, lift up your arm and say, you know what, that's me. I'm
Father God, I ask you, Lord, that you take me back when he was 10 years old, when he was 12 years old, when he was 13 years old. And I ask, Lord, right now, Lord, that you start touching his life, Lord. Tocar su corazón, sanarlo, restaurarlo. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor Padre. And I ask right now, Lord, que tú lo toques a él y su generación, that you touch him and his generation, Lord. Because, Father, I see that's affecting his generation. We do get frustrated. We're only human, God. We haven't reached the perfection to get to the heaven yet. But during the time being, we ask, Lord, that you just give us the peace upon us. That you just break every chain in Jesus' name. I don't know why I'm going to say this, but a couple of years ago, there was a there was a sister in Christ that was serving the worship team, and she gave testimony saying, when she would worship the Lord with the with the other worshipers, she was singing with all of her heart. But when she sang with all of her heart, the enemy would tell her in her ear. You're fake. You can sing all you want, but you're fake. And she had such a potential. But she really couldn't blossom completely under the presence of God. Because the enemy would use the things from the past to hold her destination. I break every depression spirit in Jesus' name. From the soles of her feet to her crown of her head in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 
every tear that has been shed in silence. God sees it. And I ask, Lord, now that that chain has been broken, now that that voice has been shut down, they can be able to blossom powerfully under the presence of God. And let them run under the anointing of a pastoral upon them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is still working in our lives. God is still working in you. We're going to do communion in a little bit, but God still has a work in your life. Some of you are sitting waiting for him to call you. You know what? God's already called you many times. All you need to do is get out of your chair and come to this altar. That's all it is. We wait and we wait. We want to have somebody come and talk to us. We, want, we wait and we want somebody to come and say or come and ask us. No, the spirit of God is already here to ask you. The altar is still here. The altar is still here in Jesus' name. 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 Amen. Anybody else this morning? God is still t moving. God is still tugging at hearts. God is still tugging at our hearts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Today's that day. Today's that morning. Today's that day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Through the power of, of the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 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 Set us free, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that we have answered your call. There's still someone that needs to come to this altar this morning, Lord God. But only you can bring them, Father. Only you can bring them, Lord God. Only you can be, be the deliverer in their lives, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, you are holy. You are worthy of all things. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Come on, church. Hallelujah. You see, we set ourselves free when we find ourselves in the presence of God. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Freedom just to worship. Come on. Sometimes we can't even do that. Something is still holding us back. But in Jesus' name this morning, I worship you, Lord. Ah, alleluia. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love. Come on, freedom to love him, freedom to worship him. Lord, we love you. Thank you, Father. Lord, we love you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love you. Come on, we've got to tell them, I love you, Lord. Lord, I, I love you. I love, I love you. Lord, I love you. I do, Lord. Lord, I love. Let's make it personal this morning. I love you, Lord. Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord. Lord, I love you. And I praise you, Lord, we praise you. Come on, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Lord, we praise you. Yes, praise them. We praise you, Lord, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, give them Thanksgiving. Give them Thanksgiving this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And give the Lord a clap offering this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. Amen. Before we leave today, we're going to have communion. Praise God. And Brother Al, you want to come and share that? Amen. Remember who you are in Christ. Remember your life. Remember what God has given you. Remember him. Amen. Let's live a life of gratitude. Live a life of thankfulness. That we can always thank God. Our actions, our speaking, our trust in God will always be of thankfulness. We are thankful. Brother Al? We can just do the verse. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Amen. We're going to go ahead. Uh, it's time of the month to give uh, communion. Amen. And we're all here to partake of the Lord's Supper, amen, and remember what he did for us 2,000 years ago, amen. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, read these, and I know we've, we've examined our hearts, and we've checked our hearts, and our hearts are prepared, amen. We've got a couple of ushers here that... We're going to have one pray for the uh, elements here. Good morning. God bless you. Lord, we just remember you this morning, Lord God, for what you did on Calvary, Lord God, as we receive, Lord God, the bread and as we receive this drink, Lord God, that we're reminded of what you did for us on the cross, Lord yes. Father, Lord God. Yes. And I pray, Father, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit will continue, Father, yes. to flow upon us, Lord God, as we're filling him this morning, Lord God. I pray, Father, that he would just be, Lord God, ever so present in our lives, directing us, Lord God, in our steps, Lord God, in what you have for us, Lord God, that you may receive all honor and glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I do want to share one scripture sure. before we start. Amen. Uh, I have this, uh, a word I want to share with you before I get into the passage. Amen. And uh, the word tells us in uh, Philippians 2 8, it says, and, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and even became obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. Amen. So he became, he 
became humble after he was humble because he could have did whatever he wanted. But Jesus humbled himself. He came low so he can connect with me and you, amen? And then he listened to God, the Father, and was obedient in every way. Even all the way into the cross. When God told him to go to the cross to die on the uh, cross for our sins, he went and did it for us. That's an act of o obedience. Amen? And it says, Wherefore God also highly exalted himself. Yeah. Him. Amen. A name which above every name, Amen. Amen. that the name of Jesus every knee Every will bow. should bow yes. in heaven yes, and things will. in yes, earth and Amen. things under earth yes, and that yes, every amen. tongue yes, should confess that Jesus Christ the Father Amen it stops right there that's what the King James Bible is telling me so he humbled himself he became obedient and he was highly favored God exalted him Amen, amen. God exalted him, and God's going to do the same thing with us. If we're humble and we're obedient, amen, God's going to exalt us, and we're going to have favor with man. And everywhere we go, people are going to, people are just going to give you things that you didn't even ask for. Amen. Everything's going to be in your favor. Amen. Because that's what God does to his, for his children. Amen. So, so God dem demonstrated his love while we were yet sinners. He died for us on the cross. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, read the passage here. We, our hearts are all prepared, amen, to partake of this communion. We're going to have our sisters pass out the elements. We're going to sing a little corito. Go ahead and do that one song again. Yeah, yeah, that one. Amen. As we pass the elements around, amen. We're going to sing this song, amen. Just, amen. Talk to the Father, amen. He knows, he knows our hearts, amen. And we're partaking of the blood that he shed on the cross for me and you, amen. His body was broken. For me and you. All this so we es can grande. live. All this was for we can live, amen. To have eternal life. And as we examine our hearts, check your heart, amen. Is your heart right with God, amen? Not just today, like the brother was saying. It has to be every day part of our life, amen. It's a part of our life to walk with Christ. It's our life now. We're committed unto Jesus. There's no turning back, amen. Incomparable Nadie como tú Bendito
love you, Lord. Más que todo te amo. Yes, we love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Más que todo te amo. Thank you that we have the privilege. To take this communion with you, Lord. To fellowship with you. To break bread with you, Lord God. To feast at your table, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. Yes, my Lord. My life, we give. We give our lives to you, Lord God. Give our lives to you, Amen. Amen. And the Scriptures tell us. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till He comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For, for this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you. <laughs> that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, <laughs> took bread, <laughs> and when he had given thanks, <laughs> he broke it <laughs> and said, <laughs> Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may take the bread. presence of the Lord, it continues to tell us that after the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this is, my this is the cup of the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. You may take the drink. In Jesus' name. We're going to sing another corito, amen. I believe everybody got prayer, but if you still feel like you want to come up, the altars are open, amen. But we want to leave you with one more song, anointed song, amen, and with a couple announcements after from our pastor. Thank the Lord for our, our brother and sister, amen, the evangelist, for sharing the word, amen, with us, for uh, depositing, amen, something that we needed to hear, amen, and that the, the Lord would go with them when they travel back home, amen. Thank you, Lord.
I'm Thank you, Lord, that we can have peace. God Almighty, He's my Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Troubles vanish. Troubles vanish. Hearts are mended. Hearts are mended. When we're in the presence, when we're in the presence of the King, of the King. In the presence of Jehovah. In the presence of Jehovah. Of Jehovah. God Almighty. Will God Almighty. He's my Prince of Peace. Oh, Prince of Peace. Now listen, this is what takes place when you're in the presence of God. Troubles vanish. Hearts are mended. Hearts are mended. When we're in the presence, when we're in the presence. Of the King When we're in Thank you, Father Of the King When we're in The prayer. Of the King. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord Almighty God. We bless the man and the woman of God that had come and delivered to us the message that God has given to them to bring to us. Take heed. Listen to every word that God would have to say. Amen. Yes, sister. Amen. Pastor, God, I want to remember you something that God did to you also before he come from his word. He told me to remember you that if you come around to fix it, if you say this, le dijo que esta casa sería una casa llamada casa de milagros. Y me dice, Señor, que le recuerde que esta casa será casa llamada casa de milagros. Porque aquí se van a ver milagros, dice el Señor. Porque esa fue una promesa, dice el Señor, que yo le hice a mi hija. Pero esa promesa, dice el Señor, era para ti. Dice el Señor, esta casa será casa llamada de milagros. Va a venir gente, se van a venir enfermos, van a venir con condiciones y van a salir libres y sanos. Que no importa, me dice el Señor, que se queden por un cierto tiempo. Sí. Lo que importa es que ellos van a ver mi poder sí. y van a glorificarme, porque sí. ellos van a venir, van a entrar y van a salir. Sí. Pero dice el Señor, esta casa se va a conocer por los milagros que voy a hacer en este lugar. Amen. Amen. Recibo esa uh -huh. palabra, hermana. Amen. Our sister was reminding us that, that God had given Pastor Tom a word many years ago, that this house will be a house of miracles that God is going to do it. So it's a reminder for me now to remind me that there will be miracles in this house. They might come, they might go, but God's promise of miracles will always be a part of this home. So we thank God for that. Thank you, brother and sister, amen. God has been good to us. 
and all things praise God. We have a lot of prayers here this morning, and what we're going to do is we're going to pray for them, amen, totally. And tomorrow, amen, when we have prayer, 530, I will meet you at the altar as we come for prayer. And we thank the Lord for each and every one of you being here in the house of God this morning, amen. It's good to see you all. Remember your mission, Brother Saul. Amen. For you to put hands on your granddaughter in Jesus' name. God's already doing a work in her. When you get there, you're going to hear what, God, how good, how much better she is. Okay? And you're going to confirm it by just laying hands on her. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Sylvia. And I was going to say baby, but Yvonne. <laughs> Amen. She's not a baby no more. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, each and every one of you, it's good to see everyone. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Uh, a ver si recuerdo. Rafael? Su nombre? Alberto? Jorge. 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 Y Lucy, Lu Luz Elena, gracias por estar con nosotros esta mañana. Amen. Praise God. They were a couple that was with us at our outreach on Friday at the park. Praise God. Amen. Y aquí están en la casa de Dios para recibir de lo que Dios quiere para ustedes. Dios es Dios de milagros y solo de poner nuestra fe por obra y saber que Dios está trabajando y va a trabajar en nuestras vidas. Amén. 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 Entonces vamos a ponernos puestos de pie. We're going to stand now, praise God, and thank the Lord for his goodness and his love because he is a great and mighty God. There is none like him. We know him and we know his miracles. We know all these, all these areas. Now it's just for us to walk in that faith. Why we walk by and not by, not by what we see, not by what we hear. There it is what is written in the word of God. Amen. So we are thankful for each and every one. Damos gracias, Señor, y de poner por obra la fe que Dios nos ha dado a nosotros, que Él es Dios de milagros en todo. Gracias, Señor, en esta mañana. Thank you, Father, for this morning's time, Lord God, that you have given us. Thank you for the word that was brought into our hearts and to our spirit, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because you don't leave us or forsake us. Thank you because we know there are miracles taking place, even right now now, Lord God, the change of mind, the change of heart, the change of the physical body, Lord God, every area of our lives that we would trust in you for all things, Father God. For yes, we walk by faith and not by sight, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the morning's time, the word of God, Lord, that comes daily to us. Now, Lord, help us to put to work what we have learned today. God has set us free. God has delivered us. God has healed us. God has renewed us. God has restored us. Now let's walk in that newness. Father, we just want to thank you for the time. Lord God, tomorrow as we come together and we have prayer at 530, Lord God, sometimes we're here and we start earlier, but that's okay. Father, we just give you praise and thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for the provisions of the food that you give us to feed our community on Tuesdays, Lord. Lord God, thank you for that, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, that Brother Joey and Sister Angelina, Lord God, are still, Lord God, pushing forth to study and to share the word of God and bring us a study of the word in, the, in Psalms, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the, their heart for that, Lord Jesus. And as we continue to give you thanksgiving, Lord, we just give you praise, Lord. And our women are having their monthly meeting this Thursday, Lord God, this Thursday at 6 o'clock here i don't know if it's 6 30 6 30 okay <laughs> 6 30 praise god for that amen don't forget there are some flyers that we're going to give out to them we're going to have bible study uh, up in the beach lord god during the month and father there are just so many things in our lives we're back to study your word on next Sunday, Lord God, that our hearts would be open, our minds, Lord God, would be ready to give unto you, Lord Jesus, and keep our minds open in all things. Those that are on our Facebook this morning, thank you, Lord, for the faithful, Lord God, that are there. Lord Jesus, touch their bodies, Lord God, heal their, that they would be able to have felt the Holy Spirit going through the airwaves this morning, and they would know that you have touched their lives also, Father God. We bring all these prayer requests, Lord Jesus, and we bring, Lord God, Noel before your throne of God, and we give you praise because you are a great and mighty God, because we want to 
to believe in what we say, Lord God, because we know who we are in you. We're the head and not the tail. We are on top and not on bottom. And with this, Father, we walk with our heads up high to know we're a child of the Most High King. Thank you, and may the blessings of God go with our brother and sister as they have another service today at 6 o'clock, Lord God. Bless them and prepare the congregation, the hearts of those that walk through that door, Lord God. Let them be prepared to receive your word. Father, we thank you for the time that we have, and we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. And the church says, Amen. God bless you all. Shake somebody's hand this morning.